Oh my goodness. How many of those runs came in this inning? This is the rally of the century. Oh, I got to shout out you guys because we reached 2,000 subscribers on the channel. Let's go. Hey, everybody who supports, I appreciate you guys. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you're among the subscribed and that you're liking the videos because then I reach more people. If I reach more people, I probably make more videos. You know, I mean, it serves everyone well. Whoa, look at that. The Lockhorns are 2-1 and one with a negative 10 run differential. How does that happen? Okay, we have to check this out. What what happened, Lockhorns? 17 to 4. AJ Burnett uh, against Cliff Lee. Oh man, that's a matchup that's probably happened in real life. I wonder if I could find a game where that happened. World Series Game 5. <laughs> 2009 World Series Game 5. The Phillies won Game 1 when Cliff Lee pitched. And then they won Game 5 when Cliff Lee pitched against AJ Burnett. He beat CC Sabathia in Game 1. But. Yeah, Cliff Lee went undefeated in the playoffs, but his team didn't do the same. So I guess if you uh, have A.J. Burnett, don't go against Cliff Lee. That is the uh, moral of the story we have learned. So that happened in real life. Interesting. We have ties to real life now in Super Mega Baseball, but that's not what's happening in today's game. It's uh, Super Mega players under the spotlight today with Dern Wonderfloss facing Yolanda Cooper. The Overchargers already 0-2, and, and the Atlanta Cooper is pretty solid. They must have a rotation that's good, except for it's only rated as a 3-bar, so that's kind of weird. Let's check them out. How do they have a 3-bar rotation with Yolanda Cooper as the number 3? Uh, what team was it? The Overchargers roster. Oh, okay, they just have like a bunch of guys that are around the same skill level. Looks like they threw Donk first, then into Bartolo, and now they're going Yolanda. I don't know if that's the way I would have ordered it, but we get to face the highest velocity of the three, Yolanda Cooper. She falls behind. I got to wait for my pitch. There is some business to take care of, as a matter of fact. Um, there's a sign and release that I wanted to do. Let's not get too excited about it because it's more of a cut salary move than anything else. Mindy Marshwater is uh, what I'm interested in bringing on. Now, we have to be careful with our free agent acquisitions because of the chemistry makeup. We don't want to drop below three scholarly players. So since we're bringing on Mindy, we kind of need to drop either orange, yellow, or blue is who we can spare. So let's sort by salary here. We need these guys. So we're basically looking at the C plus and C, just the C plus, the C guys, basically. We need that one. So we can't drop Yvette here because we need the extra green boost for the mind gamers, the bad ball hitters, the distractors of the world. So the obvious drop would be Javier Cortez. This way we have another person who can save us innings and we just save 1.6 million. That's going to turn into a couple more upgrades over the course of the year. So, yes, I believe this is a good move. Mindy Marshwater is on the team. And now we're going to develop some players. Actually, tricky choices here because there's still this Julio Hooper velocity upgrade. Also, Frank Viola, the starter from last time, has a nice upgrade here. Not really sure what a Reiki cleanse is. Maybe I don't want to know. So this is a very strong upgrade, but if I take it, then I'd probably lose out on the chance to upgrade Swirly Cutsif. She's 21. This is a good chance to get her some solid upgrades. We might even add to her arsenal, which would be nice to get her another fastball since she doesn't have the four-seamer. The problem is I, I would like to upgrade Frank, but quick math shows that my 1700 isn't enough to get both of these. So this one has the higher chance to expire. I think the percentage play here might be grab the swirly one and pray the frank one is still around next time so i'm gonna do that we're grabbing swirly let's get some good man we haven't gotten anything good yet we didn't grab that come on give me the star we got nothing good and then the other question is do we grab this now or is that not worth it i think you grab them when you can we'll have enough money either way for frank next time so we're gonna grab julio as well and maybe we'll get the plus eight below. That'd be nice. Yes, we did get something. 
All right, cool. What's going on with the lineup? So Spanky ended up going tense. Do we change his spot in the order? I think he's worse than Jombie now, so I might use Jombie as my five and try to get Spanky going in the three hole. Hito is definitely like one bad at bat away from tenseness himself, and Kendall is tense. So this might be the time to go ahead and swap in Sosha for a start. Ellis also happens to be hitting uh, 571, so he may lock in. All right, let's go Ellis ahead. Nacho didn't maintain the locked in, even though three for five with two homers. And Dern is the starter of the day. A little bit better than Hentgen, I believe. He has crossed up. Ooh, that kind of sucks. So hopefully we don't end up with another tense catcher. All right, we'll be the home team. I mean the away team. The opposite of what I said. A lot of orange out there. Stan coming up. He's hitting 429. Anyways, we're in a cornfield. Let's do this. That was a high pitch. We're going to wait for our pitch. Thank you very much. Ooh, that wasn't us. It might have caught the zone. That's all right. Dang, I didn't get over... Didn't, didn't get the right reticle placement. I was also a smidge now late. The right fielder, number Gotta make the adjustment. Jose Jose's Batista. coming up. 556 average. Oh, yeah, I'm late on that 97. Okay, I gotta catch up. Gotta catch up. Did not catch up. Did not catch up. Alright, we're going contact swing. We gotta catch this fastball. Alright, stayed off it. That was good. That was good. Nice! Serves it into left field and we battled back from 0 2. Let's go. Mm. I saw that lock in. I saw that lock in. Come on, Jose. All right, Spanky's up. Hi. That's all right. 1 0. Boom! That's not going to work. It's going to be too unfortunate. Mm. I squared it up, but I hit it right at second base. That's not good. Ideally, you just get a little bit lower and lift it out to the gap, but uh, didn't happen. We'll get Spanky going eventually. He's too good not to. Anyways, Dern Wonderfloss against Dirk Sportswood. Oh my gosh. All right, I get that it's a bad trade, but does it have to flash down there in the left, bottom left all game? Oh my goodness. Oh dear. All right. Now I'm really going to test my uh, pitch aiming skill because uh, he's not a high accuracy guy. And already we fall way behind. I find the zone with the no power pitch. I'm going to double up. I'll do the cutter. That's way too much plate. Way too much plate, but I'm lucky because he hit it at Nacho Crisp. A one down. Okay, it is Eric Davis. Number four, Eric Davis. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go with the slide piece in. That's pretty good. Ah, oh, did not catch the zone. All right, we'll go fastball. Mark! Not quite. The speed is not going to be caught from right field anytime soon. So now we're dealing with the double threat Beefcake Juice Jackson. Pretty scary. Let's throw over. Let's start with a cut fastball away. I missed. Let's step off. If you step off, uh, I believe they sometimes shorten their lead. Yeah, so it's not a waste of time. Let's go curveball. Back up on that. Get the one hop and turn the double play. Let's go, boys. That's how we do it. Uh, quick aside, folks. Anyone else here able to get a signal? I'm with Evermore Wireless, and I cannot get a call out. That's unfortunate, buddy. All right. So the 456 is coming up. Now batting. The third baseman, number 57, Ito Moonshotta. Right handed slugger in the box. Oh, late on 97. I got to catch that. I got to catch that. Ball, one run. Boom! There we go. Hito's got a hit, baby. No tenseness for the big man. How about it? The first baseman, number 61. <laughs> All right, that's good. Jambi. Here's Jambi. We got slow base runner. 
that's all right. I knew I was taking a strike, but it wasn't like a super juicy pitch or anything. That one's high, 1-1. One, one. I was just late on it. I'm simply late right now. I believe it was the cutter that time. All right, I will shorten up because I don't want to swing late too late. No way is he catching that. He caught it. That was like the peak of his jump, dude. The short stop. He's got Magna Hands. Nacho. Everyone has a little bit of Magna Hands in this game. That home run ball they caught uh, of Stan's last game, he definitely kind of sucked it in from a couple feet above his head in left field, but it's more exciting that way. Like, you're hardly ever going to see a home run robbed if they don't give him a little bit of a advantage. Anyways, here's Nacho. I could have hit that, but it's all right to take. That one, I definitely shouldn't have swung at, I believe. Oh, and two. That one's okay to swing at. Dirk Sports would suck it in again, man. Gee whiz. He's got a vacuum in his glove. Yo, check his glove. Tell the umps to check him out. All right, anyways. No scoring yet. Number 19, Jackson. They've actually faced the minimum because we got doubled off. Oh, dear. Bratch, you got to get it there. Nice, we barely got there. He had just enough speed to get in position. Woo! We're gonna go curveball away. Uh, yeah, I missed my spot, but we just saw a curveball. Let's go cut her in. And a lot of plate. It's a foul. Let's try it again, but not miss. A little better. Yeah. All right, 0-2. Oh Let's try the curveball this time. Again, away. Ooh, it's probably a strike. Yep, Mark's gonna handle it. Two down. Ooh, and he goes tense. That's tense. That's brutal, buddy. Oh no. My camera's not tense though. Let's get him out. We're gonna slide piece inside. I like that pitch. I'm gonna. For some reason, I got it with Jambi. Definitely did not need to get it with Jambi. But luckily, the pitcher catches it. Good job, Wonder Floss. And we got the 7 8 9. Let's. You know, let's have more than three batters come to the plate, huh? What do you say? Oh my goodness. Yeesh. Okay, I know he's a bad ball hitter, but you can just wait for a better pitch than that. Holy cow. There we go. Let's wait on that one. Ooh, I'm late. I'm late on the 95 mile an hour. Oh my gosh. Come on, catch up. Probably inside. All right, come on, dude. That was down. This fastball's testing my reactions, man. Oh, I was a little late. A little late. Greg Vaughn handles it. Come on, Mark. Let's do something. That's not something. All right, we got to wait for our pitch, man. You gotta find your pitch. Sorry about that, Mark. Really bad swing. Find your pitch. Find your pitch. I think that was my pitch. Yep. Found a gap with it. That's all right. Got a base runner. And we will have a fourth batter come to the plate. Hey! <laughs> Progress. Stands up. Let's do something, Stan. Yep. Good take. Good take. Good take. Ooh, ah, that probably wasn't the pitch to do it. That was kind of low. My bad, Stan. Ah. All right, well, Pete Bautista leads off the next inning. Got to get Greg Vaughn out. Let's try a heater in. It might be a strike. It was not. That was the cross-up. You can do all you want with nobody on base. Right at Jami. One down. Sponge Dryden. Sponge. What? He's an RBI hero. Who is this guy? Uh, he's one of the new free agent players. I'm going to try the curveball. I think I caught the zone. No. No, I didn't. I was wishful thinking. Try the no charge fastball. Dang. That's not good. I'm doing no charge pit. Oh. Maybe I'm just not good at aiming the no charge. That one's a strike. I'm going to just throw the fastball away to try to catch up. All right, now what do I do? He sponge dried in. Let's do the cutter. I don't know. Maybe. Hey, we got him. Good battle back. Two down, two down. They have a guy hitting behind that guy. Amazing. And they're extreme power hitters, by the way. 
All right, uh, slider away. Tried to get real specific in my aim on the first pitch against this guy with the bases empty. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's put one in the zone. There we go. Nacho's going to get it on the 2-0 count. We getting out. Cool deal. All right, here's our chance. Here's our chance. We have three hits so far, but we're bringing up some sluggers to the plate. Number 19, Jose Batista. We cannot be late on this fastball. And immediately I'm late on the fastball. Dude, I cannot figure this pitch out. Good, good, good. 1-1. One, one. There we go. Aww. I caught up to the fastball at least. I'm out though. The designated hitter. Number 26. <sighs> that was a decent piece. Alright, come on, Spankies. That's definitely not a strike. I'm late on the fastball, no big deal, you know. Never happened before, so it's fine. Away. 2 1. Ah, I'm late on that. It's not going to find the wall. Dang. Decent piece, but I was late. So the inside out swing didn't have enough juice. Oh, man, Yolanda's working me. Come on, Hito, find your pitch. Ah. I was way late. Ooh, good take, good take. Just in. Good take. 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. That was very close. I wasn't even sure about it, but we got the 3-1 count. Boom! Let's go, Hito. There's no doubt about it. That's getting out. I was wrong. It was, uh, it was, caught, at the, it was caught at the wall. <laughs> I see. I really thought you had it. Dang, man. I said no doubt about it. Uh, good piece. Good piece. Very good piece. Oh, jump. Okay, I lied. Don't jump. Just catch it. Yeah, you can still get away with the incorrect jump button. So, yeah, just go ahead and spam that. There's no repercussions. You bet you that's a strike. I'm going to go for the 0-2 count. That's my goal. You know, didn't work out, but we're going to go cut her away. I think I like that pitch. I definitely like that pitch. All right, we're going to go slide piece low. I, I caught the plate. He fouled it off. I'm going to try it again, except inside. Sneaky guy. It's definitely below the zone. He definitely fouled it off again. All right, we're going to go a little bit lower now. And did not get him to chase the fastball. Let's go back to the slider away. Oh man, too much plate. Jump, Mark! Nope. Yeah, you make one mistake and you end up with a base runner. That's how it works. Baseball. Alright, beef kicks tense. I like that. Man, this fast guy's on base again, though. We're gonna have to throw over, you know, man manage him. Maybe we can get the double play ball again. That one is probably not a strike, and he did not chase it. Try the curve. That's a lot of plate. All right, I'm going to throw over. Oh, he got his ass. <laughs> you thought you were going to run on this? You going somewhere, buddy? <laughs> Do now, <that>, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, who else has the picked off achievement in this game, huh? I've already had a good handful of them. Uh, not to rag, but... <laughs> I'm going contact pitch because no one's on base, so, you know, it's fine. Nope. Didn't even work. All right. Power pitch, baby. A lot of plate. I ain't scared. Let's do it again. He won't. Oh, that's a good pitch. Strike three. Beefcake. Overrated. Good thing we picked Hito in the first round. Am I right, boys? <laughs> John B. Crisp and Batch coming up. The first baseman. Number 61, Jason Giambi. The goatee is menacing. Let's go, Jason. Down. Mm, that's all right. That's all right. That's not my pitch. That's not my pitch either. 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Ooh. I kind of thought it wasn't my pitch, but it kind of was, but I kind of missed it. All right, 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, 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 two. 
Oh man, that was too inside. Man, gave it a decent poke. But yeah, probably better off spitting on it. All right, come on, Nacho, let's do something. Good take. Jumps ahead. Ooh, takes a nice close high one for the 2-0. Ooh, oh my gosh, 99 charge, but I just missed. I simply missed. Unfortunate. Could have crushed that. How about it? The center fielder, number 13. Got it off the uh, well off the handle a little bit. That one's definitely low, but oh well. Served it up the middle, got a single. Can't complain. Oh, he is a bad ball hitter, so I guess that helps. Second baseman, number 14. Mac Ellis, come on, Mac. Get you on base, baby. 500 hitter. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm waiting. I'm standing around like a dummy. There's two outs. Whoops. So, we've all got four hits in five innings. That's kind of... Underwhelming. At least we're dealing on the mound as well, but we gotta get that offense going. Oh dear. We gotta keep dealing as well. Let's focus here. Focus up. Maybe it's a strike. It is. We stole the strike. Gotta watch out for those mid count curveballs, though. I think that's a strike. Oh! He hits it up the middle. We got a leadoff base runner. Snag Roper, he's tense. Let's see if we can find the ground ball. Ooh, it's kind of not as low as I wanted, but he looks at it. We're not going curveball. We're going to go slide piece down low. Maybe inside. Mark is in position to make that catch. That's one down. Ground ball can get us out of here. Let's go fastball. I missed. Let's try it inside. I think it's a strike. I was correct. Let's go curveball. That one's below the zone. Swing at it. Nope. Let's try the fastball again. That one's also too low. Dang. Hmm. All right, I got to go fastball here. Found the zone. All right, we got the full count. Let's go cutter in. I love it. Got him. Let's freaking go darn. Oh, big man. All right, we just got to deal with the power guy here. First pitch curve. Good pitch. How did he know? Was it the low and in? Get the ball in. Batch. The cutoff. Nope, it's going to score the first run of the game. Dang. We did something predictable, apparently. And they got RBI man now. Oh, my gosh. All right, we're gonna go cutter. We're gonna go. We're gonna. Go, we're gonna go cutter in. I think. I don't think that's predictable. All right, I'm gonna double up on it. it not a strike. Not a strike. I'm gonna go fastball here. I kind of like that pitch. All right, Jambi handles it. All right, we got out of it, but they scored. We are no longer playing in an even ball game, kids. How about the catcher, number seven, Mike, Mike Sosha. Sosha. Apparently, he's known for blocking the plate and getting blown up for it. Sosha has been knocked off his feet many times. He was even knocked unconscious once, but held on to the ball. All right, let's go, Mike. I've been looking up my guys. Also, like, he's the Cardinals coach. I think I already knew that, but all right. Come on, Mike. Take 1-0. And that's going to be a nice piece of hitting to just go with it the other way and drop it in the grass. Come on, Mikey. All right. Setting the table for the top of the order. Stance coming up. Mm, that's all right. That's all right. Mm, that's going to find it. It's gonna find the grass. Definitely holding the runner, and we got two on with nobody out, and Jose coming up. This is what we want. Time to clutch up, baby. Here we go. Takes the fastball in. 
takes the fastball away. <sighs> Boom! Oh, yeah. Can we score? Uh, we cannot score because it didn't stay fair. It, was a, it hooked a little bit there, man. I thought we crushed it. All right, 2-1, one, 2-1. Two, one. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Boom! There we go. I like that, too. Uh... All right, let's go. I was wondering if I was too aggressive with the base runners, but that definitely worked out. Everybody got the extra bag, and we tied the ball game. Come on, Joey Bats. That was great. All right, let's see what Spanky can do. Let's keep it going, baby. Boom! Yes! Shoot it out to the same gap, and that's going to bring the next two guys in. Spanky's chugging for second base. It's going to be easy to get there for him. Come on, Marauders. The offense comes alive in the sixth. Oh, oh my God. Hito Munchada already got the drought taken care of earlier in the game, and now he's got a chance to score a run. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, not that pitch. Not that pitch. Not that pitch either. Two and O. Oh. That pitch. Yeah. It's not going to score him. I did freeze, but I wouldn't have scored anyway. So, uh, yeah. Next station baseball on that one, and Giambi comes up. Nobody out in this inning, by the way. The infield is in. So, uh, we're going to have to make a decision with Spanky at third there, the mid-speed base runner. Not my pitch, not my pitch. Definitely not my pitch. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I was so early. Oh, wow. The speed change there was pretty drastic. I think it was the change. Tricky Yolanda. I'm going to shorten up here. I want the ball in play. Oh, oh my goodness. That was barely high. Ah, two and two. It's in play, and it's going to get through with the infield in. That's why sometimes you just play the infield back and try to get the double play and get out of the How mess, but... The shortstop, number 21, Nacho Chris. They didn't play it that way, and they paid for it because they still have no outs. Come on, Nacho! Yolanda definitely needs to come out of this game. We're kind of slapping her up, but they're going to leave her in. They always leave them in so long. <clears throat> I was late. She's still blowing me away with the fastball somehow. Come on. Oh my gosh, I was so late. It was a 90 mile an hour. Ah! Okay, we're 0-2. We got a battle. Nacho doesn't have the tough out anymore, but he is a distractor. Might be an upgrade. Whew, come on, Nacho. Ooh, I was ahead on that. Head on that. Oh my goodness. Don't turn it. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my gosh, Nacho, oh, he didn't leg it out. I thought he would. So that was a really bad swing. Probably the worst of the ball game. Mm, my bad, Notch. my bad. Let's see if we can get one more run in. Ball down. Ball, ball not even close. Okay, 3-0. Oh. All right, whatever. That's fine. I'm not scared to let Ellis come up and bat. The second baseman, number 14. Come on, Mock. Ellis. Oh. Didn't quite get up to it, and I pop out. That's all right. Ten hits and four runs. Not too shabby. The nacho at bat is one you want back, but... Ugh, Dern is 56 pitches deep. And we're in the sixth inning here. That's pretty good. If we get an out, then he goes deeper than uh, Viola did. Oh, that's going to stay fair. No. Uh, uh, I got to let it. Ah, oh, man. It was going to stay. It was going to stay fair. That's unfortunate. That rarely happens in this game. All right, let's try the cutter. Let's try the cutter in. Good pitch. Give me a ground ball. No, no swing. Let's try the curve. I like it. I'm going to try that again, except low. Swing at it. Yeah, he got a piece. 
cheater. All right, let's try the slider at his knee. Ooh, pretty solid. Dang, can't get the swing and miss. That one went down below the concessions. All right, we're gonna try the cutter high because I'm feeling frisky. That's not a good pitch. All right, that's okay. It sets up the low and away. It's too low, swing at it. Ooh, it, he did swing at it. Go for the tag. Yes! <laughs> Ah, uh, so if you're the runner there, you want to just freeze your second base runner so they can't do that, and your uh, other runner has a chance to get to first, because I'm probably not turning that at second base with a slow roll. So that's how you play it on defense, but if you're, uh, or on offense, but if you're the defender, you just do what I did. <laughs> Got him. Alright, let's try fastball. Away. Pretty good. All right, let's try off the plate. Too far off the plate. We almost wanted to. Let's try a little more plate. Too much plate. Jambi! Right at Jambi. Yeah, baby. All right, good job. Good battle. We're going to have 9 1 2. Mike Sosha with the 2 for 2 today. That's pretty good. They're finally going to pull her. We're facing the long reliever, Kent Ratherswell, and his accuracy sucks because Mike is a big-time mind gamer. He's in your head, baby. Come on. Good take. Ah, it's not going to be a hit. Hit it on the ground. And Mike gets out for the first time today. Left fielder, number 12. Come on, Stan. That's gonna sneak. That's gonna sneak. All right, not the best contact we've ever seen in our lives, but he's on first base. Now batting the right fielder. Joey bats is up. Jose Batista. I'm okay taking that. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Snag snags it. They're not gonna turn that. That's all right. Now batting. Not gonna turn it. Great play by Snag. Spanky. Spanky's not Wagner. tense anymore. Let's do something, Spanky. Good take, good take, good take. Oh, a little early, a little early. Definitely, uh, definitely not a strike. They're looking for the steal. No, Snag is going to handle that. Spanky's kind of fast, but not that fast. Good play by the shortstop in that inning, you know? Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap, as they say. Anyways, we're facing the third baseman this this inning. I'm gonna go fastball away. Yeah, I mean, it didn't even work, but it kinda worked. Dern is at 69, he's kinda cruising. We're gonna go slide piece inside. It's pretty good. And he chunks it foul, strike two. We're gonna go off the plate with the cut fastball. He is going to nick it to third, and he's out. We have one of those third basemen on our team, too. That's crazy. All three of these guys have made appearances on my top ten lists. All right, we're going to go inside with the curveball. Good pitch. 99 charge with location. Oh, baby. Let's try it again. Oh, my gosh. I got this down. Another one over to... Hito, who picks it out of the air on the high hop. He's a good fielder, Hito. Nacho had the backup. All right, here's the man making all the defensive plays. I would like to petition for defensive highlights to be able to improve your mojo. I mean, why not? The lowlights can hurt it, you know? Come on, we need to add that to the game. All right. Let's try the curveball first. Good pitch. Man. Ugh, I am throwing really good curveballs right now. This guy's slow. Oh, we almost got him. Maybe 99 had him. I only threw at 95. Yeah, I have the curveball doing well right now, but I did too many of them. That's a good cutter. Jumpy. Ooh, he makes the play. Sit down, kid. Wow. Third baseman. Direct. All right, here's Hito. Yeah, you don't make that if you're not holding the runner, but hey, we take those. Oh, a little inside there. Come on. Ooh, I, uh, I have to hit that one. I got to hit that one. That's not one to take. 
All right, I'm gonna go contact hitter. I'm gonna go Joey Votto mode. And I'm going, see, that's the downside. Because if I have a charge on it, it probably goes over his head. First base, number 61. But I might just miss the ball because it's harder. So, you know, what are you gonna do? There's give and take. Oh, that's so low. What am I doing? Wait for you, wait for you. That's not an E, see? See, you just don't swing. Boom! I've heard that that middle in pitch was uh, Jambi's weakness because uh, it says that in Moneyball. <laughs> That's right. I read books. All right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, in this game, he hit a single on that pitch. So, you know. Ball. Ball. Two and O. Oh. Boom! We're gonna have to hold. Great hit by Nacho. Wish that came in the last at bat, but what are you gonna do? And Batch Wilson. I mean, Nacho's last at bat. Batch Wilson coming up. 444 average. He's been pretty dang good in the box for us this year. Let's keep that going. Ooh. I find a breaker low, and I put it in the 5-6 uh, the hole. Yeah. Alright, base loaded for Mark. Number 14, Marky Mark, 0-3 Mark, today. He's been good for us other days. <sighs> Let's find a gap here. They're playing halfway, which is weird, because they could just look for the double play like normal people, but... Alright. We're gonna hit this ball. Mmm, I thought it was in. That's alright, though. 0-1. Boom! Yep, find the gap. Serve it up the middle. I'm gonna hold. It was kind of close, but I think he was host. All right. Number seven, Mike Sosha. Mike Sosha. Same situation, except we have an extra run. Down. His fastest runners on first. Boom! That's gonna get through. Yes, I was right. I kind of, uh, I kind of doubted it for a second. I'm, gonna, I'm sending everybody. It's going to work out. Good call. And it's 7-1. to one. The Marauders are blowing it open a little bit. Let's go, Marauders. The offense wakes up. We're definitely awake. We're in this game. Let's keep punishing this man. Boom! Oh, my gosh. Absolutely smoke job. I think it's totally gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Smashed. Let's go, Stan. I didn't even feel like I got all of that ball, but Stan's just so good, it didn't matter. 403 feet, third RBI of the season. I guess that was all his RBIs. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. It's 10 to 1. Joey, one out, and nobody on. Boom! Rally continues. Single for Joey. Spanky coming up. Joey locks back in. He can't decide what he wants to be. Spanky, unfortunately, has orange Spanky mojo. Uh, we, don't, we don't prefer that, Spanky. Come on, man. In. Easy. They didn't want none of his first pitch slayer. They didn't want none of his second pitch action either. Boom! Oh, third pitch. Oh. Boom! It was the fourth pitch this time, baby. He hits it into the center field grass. For some reason, I'm challenging him at third base. And that's the reason. It's because I made it, baby. That's a good read on the first to third. Come on, Jose. That's how excited we get in 10-1 to 1 games around here, man. Everything is, uh, an enter is entertainment. Can rather as well rattled. I can't imagine why. Oh, well. Dude, that's like Hito's pitch, man. I'm surprised all he did was smash up the middle. Except for I'm not that surprised, because that's what he's done with all three of his hits in this game and in this season. But, you know, I mean, uh, whatever you got to do to not be out, I'm on board. Come on, Jambi. Definitely not a strike. Okay, we got 2-0. and Boom! Ah, it's only 82... I think it's gonna hang. I'm backing up. 
I'm going to get the tag and move to third. And that is all we do there. It's 11 to 1. Nacho's back up. Nacho's back up. Man, dude, at this rate, we're going to have to go to 95 Ego, which I've never done in my life. Oh! I think... I think... I think we might have to do that. <laughs> I think we might have to do that. Uh, at first, we couldn't hit the fastball, but, you know, when the fastball slow down a little bit, it's not as hard. Batch is locked in, hitting 500. We have definitely batted around. I don't even know how many batters have come to the play anymore. Oh, another base hit. Uh, the runner doesn't challenge that time. Didn't have time to. Marky Mark comes up. Mark Ellis. One for four on the day. Okay, they finally take him out. Another SPRP. This one pretty good. Uh, why is his accuracy down? That would be the distractor factor. Dang, that's so strong. All right, here we go. Mark Ellis. Down and away. Up. Two and oh. Boom! Oh, I missed. That was one of those slight adjustment pitches. Very tricky. Mm. Ew, that was just late. He's not throwing 90 anymore. All right, I'm going to shorten up. Two, 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 two. Good take. Three and two for Mark. And he uh, works the walk. Mike Sosha coming up. Oh, man. Nacho's at third now. That would be brutal if we had Mind Gamer and Distractor. <laughs> oh, they would have zero accuracy. They have negative accuracy for sure. But instead, he's looking at about 35-ish. All right, come on, Mike. Oh, what am I swinging at? Horrible. Find your pitch. That could have been my pitch, but instead, it's 0-2. Dang. In the 0-2 count, we still find a way. Um, everybody's running, and we managed to move up the runners yet again. We've done that so many times. They're very aggressive throwing the ball in. Stand alive. Staying alive, baby. 15 to 1. Man, we are just working them in this inning. What's happening? This rally is insane. Away. Eh, I'm taking that pitch. I don't like it. I like that one. See, I was waiting for that one. Wow, he got that in fast, but not fast enough to prevent two runs from coming in. 17 to 1. Oh, my goodness. How many of those runs came in this inning? This is the rally of the century. All right, let's go, Joey. That finally ends it on a line drive. It had to end that way. It wasn't going to I wasn't going to give him anything else. A little bit late on that, but you know, we're obviously nitpicking. We hung a 13 on him in the eight, in the 8th inning. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Well, safe to say that the uh, Marauders are going to be 3-0 after this one. Greg swings through strike one, blah, blah, blah. Great curveball. He fouls it off. I'm going to go ahead and go for the punch out because what it got to lose. I mean, shoo, boom, got him. Sit down, nerd. Man, it sucks to be on the, on the overchargers right now. Dang. They're going to be selling after this. There's no way they have playoff dreams. So. All right. Um, Cutcher away. I'm just bored now. Like, there's no tension in the 16-run game. I didn't know I was this good. Oh, dear. All right, Cutter. Blowing in. We got the 2-2 two -two count. Let's go. He's at 83. We're going for the curveball. Didn't quite nail my location on that one. I'm going to nail it on this one, though. Eh, didn't nail it, but it's probably a strike. He hits it to Nacho. Two down in the inning. We need... There's another inning after this one, man. Oh, my gosh. What do we throw? Fastball in. Another one. Kind of missed. 
All right, he's starting to wear down. I don't know if he'll finish the game. We can put Mindy Marshwater on the mound or something. Uh, let's just go uh, uh, precision pitch. That's what I'll call it. Those are precision pitches now. Precision pitch away. Very precise. You're precisely out. Okay. Spanky Wagner. We've got 24 hits, and there's another inning. Now Over under, do we send more or less hitters to the plate this Spanky inning? Wagner. Who's taking the over? <laughs> Who are the believers? <laughs> All right, come on, Spanky. Boom! Well, I'm going to take the under, because um, even though he hit it hard, he's out. So. The third baseman, number 57, All right, here's Hito. Hito Moonshota. Ah, barely, barely passed Hudson's glove. Another hit for Hito. He didn't go up the middle on the line drive that time either. The first baseman, number 61, ah. Jason Giambi. All right, we're no longer worried about Hito's slumping, so that's good. That's positive. Terminado. Spanky, he has two hits, but he's still tense because everyone else got more. But, you know, he's a competitive man. What are you going to do? Good take, good take. That's inside. <clears throat> Same gap Hito used. Station to station with the sluggers out there. Nacho coming the up. Two for 21. five today. Nacho two homers in the last one. A lot of eye black. Good take, 1-0. Oh, oh I was late. <laughs> I waited too long. I think I waited curveball, but it was slider. Misjudged. Okay, 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Um, that's a pretty good piece right there. I'm going to hold. He did catch it. Good thing I held. All right. Not bad by Nacho. Batch, well said. Locked in batch coming up. The old man on the team. Down. Okay, 2 0. 3 0. Gotta be me. Wasn't me. Ball four. I think it's Mark next. The second baseman, number 14, Mark Ellis. The old A's second base guy, known for his gold glove. Come on, Mark. Did he get a gold glove? I, I remember people saying he should get a gold glove. All right. Come on, Marky. Mm. Oh, that was horrible. Well, it's two outs. Everybody's running. Dang! If it wasn't 17 to 1, I'd be more upset. But in this circumstance, I'm only a little upset. But that was not a good swing. Definitely should have hit that pitch. I guess I'll just leave Dern in. I don't know. Precision fastball. We've been crossed up, but it's been with no runners on, so that's lucky for us. Oh. One down. One down. Got their leadoff hitter. Eric Davis has been doing better against us than other players today. Two for three. But we did pick his butt off. <laughs> Precision curve. Now that I have a name for it, I want to use it. Precision slider. I'm not very precise with it, is no, the no, thing. No. It's supposed to be more accurate, but I don't even know if I'm more accurate with it, because my uh, less practice. Anyways. You know what I could do is, like, uh, something defensive. Who's my... Maybe Stan comes out for Victorino. That would be good. Maybe Victorino moves to center field because she's faster. And uh, that's probably all. Yeah. <laughs> the other guys I have are catchers. All right. little now speed in out in center field now. Victorino. I don't think this guy will be stealing in a 16-run game. Strike one. A strike. A strike. We'll go precision. A lot of plate. Got the, str the uh, foul ball strike. All right. And Dern with the slide piece. Uh, it's below the zone. Not going to get away with the tapper in front of the plate, but we will throw the missed pitch there. I'm going to go precision curveball. Oh, what a weapon. Damn it. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was strike or not. <laughs> he said ball. I didn't hear. The runner moves up. All right. 
Let's go cut her in. Great pitch. Zoom! John Beek should be able to grab that. Yeah. Flick it over. Got the out. Runner moves ahead. And Dern needs one more out for the complete game. He's at over 100 pitches. <laughs> I mean, why not try for fun stuff like complete games when you're up by 16 runs? Fastball. Probably not a strike. Nope. All right, well, they are going to get another run, but I don't really care about that. Sue me. Uh, I think Dern just lost Mojo, though, so maybe we should have pulled him. All right, I'm going to pull him just to make sure he doesn't go tense or anything stupid. So we're just going to go Marshwater here. Try out the new girl. Go Precision Curveball. Such precision. I'm practicing my precisions, because what else am I going to do in a 16 runner? Screwball. I think I caught plate. Oh, well, we got some speed out in center. Let's catch up to that one. Yes, sir. And I believe I caught one out in the left center to end the last game. So, huh, a lot of patterns developing in Marauders baseball. It's tradition to let them hit a high fly ball for the final out. Marauders win. Yeah. GG guys, I don't know what happened in that seventh inning. Was it the seventh inning? Eighth inning. Ma. Oh, 26 hits. 13 runs in one inning. It's four in another inning. And other than that, we didn't even score. That is so random. We scored in two innings. They scored in two innings. And it's 17 to 2. Oh. Sheesh. I guess what they need to learn is to take their dang pitcher out. Because in the sixth inning, they were leaving Cooper in for too long, and we put a crooked number up. And then, in the eighth inning, <laughs> they left Kent Retherswell in way too long, and we put, uh, like, a, a thousand numbers up. Oh, my gosh. Take your pitchers out, guys. Holy cow. Okay, so, yeah, that's another suggestion for improving the game. Just make the AI a little smarter. They do not need to leave their starters in, or even their relievers in. Like, why do they leave their pitchers in so long? Take the pitcher out. When he starts to get tired, take him out. How hard is that? I sound very critical, but I just like the game. I like the game, and I want it to be better, and that would make it better. You know what I mean? That would make the game better. Only one homer for Stan. He absolutely smashed it. Dude, everyone in the starting lineup got at least one RBI, and they were probably all in the seventh or the eighth inning. <laughs> It was just a RBI, 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 every at-bat. Oh, there's another RBI. <laughs> and then Stan ruined it by stealing them all. Greedy. Wow, Sosha got four in the nine hole, though. Dude, if he's locked in, we might even have to start him again. I don't know. Uh, Yeah, other than Eric Davis, and I guess Juice a little bit, we didn't really have trouble with their lineup. Shoot, dude, I might have to go 95 Ego just to make it competitive. I mean, the last two, we kind of slapped them. Shout out to Dern Wonderfloss with the two runs allowed and 26 outs earned. Very, very good. I did kind of pull the legs out from under him, but the complete game's not worth it if uh, it means he's going to start the next start tense, you know what I mean? Because if, if he starts giving up more runs, then he will go tense. But it's not like he's going to be locked in because he's so hyped up about the complete game. If they do put that in, that would be kind of cool, though. Oh, hey, we finally swept the, the player highlights. Stan, 4 for 6 with the absolute giganto of a homer. 5 RBIs. Mike, 4 RBIs. Everybody else got, I think, are they the only ones with more than 1 and they got 5 and 4? No, Spanky got 2. Other than that, yeah, though. That's, it's kind of wacky. But Batch with the three for four, and he's locked in. He's the third shout-out. Really good for the offense. But you got to shout-out Dern Wonderfloss, man. You got to do it. Everyone was hitting, but Dern was the only one shutting down the other the other team. Sorry we had to do you like that uh, over Chargers, but uh, get good, I guess. Oh, yeah, we have to do these manager moments. Oh, no. It's Saberhagen versus Spanky, and they both have the same loyalty. Oh, man. Ah, uh, I think I have to go... Wait, didn't order enough talc for the team? I don't even know what talc is. Ah, jeez. I think we have to... We have to... Lower Saberhagen here, I think. Okay, Spanky's paid slightly more. Saberhagen is five years older, though. 
I am going to go ahead and choose Saber Hagen for this one, reluctantly. Hopefully we have a chance to raise him back up. Oh, man. Mark Ellis versus Jombi. These are two of the guys I want to keep around. Crap. Might have to just go with Jombi because he's ahead currently. Have been posting portrait-oriented videos to social media. Who do you confront? I don't really use social media. Is that like... Uh, is that a faux pas? Are you not supposed to do portrait videos? <laughs> Portrait-oriented videos? Isn't that called a sh YouTube short? I mean, yeah. I think the thing that makes sense, because we, we bumped up Jambi earlier, so we can afford to knock him down, because I don't want to lose either one of these guys. So, tough break on that. Oh, we have to do another one. Okay, it's just plus. That's good. Choose a player to be the cover athlete for the influential jocks. Well, we probably have to go Hooper because Kendall is old. He's 34. I wouldn't mind reciting him, but, I mean, you got to assume Hooper's the better pick in this circumstance. Who's paid more? Hooper's 6'6". Six, six. Kendall's 7'4". Kendall's paid more. Probably because Hooper's a closer. And we don't know. We might have a shot at a, a nice young catcher. And we might even be... I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to try to nurture Soche into the starting role. That could have definitely happened, though. So I'm going to add to Hooper's loyalty, I suppose. Thanks for liking the video, guys.